Hey guys, as 2 w here with your W Overview, your weekly update to the top headline sneaker releases for the next 7 days. Going into the second week of August 2019, quite a few heat restocks are happening. Like always, a copper drop poll will be available at the top right corner of this video, so feel free to click on the window as it pops out to vote. Let's take a look at what's dropping between August 11th to the 17th of 2019. On August 13, Nike and Stranger Things are releasing their third capsule and probably the most intriguing of them all. Named as the Underworld Collection, the Cortez, Blazer, and Tailwind silhouettes are used again but this time dressed in a sail-colored fabric upper. This upper could actually be ripped or burnt, which will then reveal the hidden dark blue denim upper underneath, a motif as crazy as the Underworld from the show. Even the heel tab can be destroyed, from a simple red Nike logo into a Stranger Things branding underneath. The insole is also decorated with graphics, coupled with a clean white midsole and outsole. The shoes retail for $110 US dollars, and if you're a fan of the show, then these personally should be a favorite amongst all the Stranger Things collab released so far. On the 15th, Nike is globally releasing the Joyride Run Flyknit for $180 US dollars at retail. It's their newest running shoe with their newest cushioning technology, and this time it involves tiny beads, lots and lots of beads. According to Nike, it's a fusion of air and react cushioning. The midsole of these Joyride contain four zones, with each zone filled with different proportions of tiny expandable TPE beads. As we step on the pavement, the beads are elastic enough to inflate and contract, giving each wearer their own customized and natural fit. The shoe's premise is to offer less foot stress from pounding the pavement, and it's said it has at least 14% better impact absorption than the Epic Reacts. To make the shoe more comfortable, they've added Flyknit as well for a flexible and breathable experience. The US already had their early dips, but it's finally releasing worldwide on the 15th. The next sneaker is a re-release happening on the 16th in Europe. The Air Jordan 1 Nike SB Los Angeles to Chicago for 175 US at retail. I know the US and Canada has already had their release a month ago already, so I'm not entirely sure if Europe is finally getting their stock, but this restock is only dropping in Europe. This sneaker is special as it's a collab between Jordan and Nike SB, featuring colorways of the popular Los Angeles Lakers in purple and gold. And when beat up, the shoe will gradually lose its original color and change into the iconic Chicago 1 colorway. But aside from that, it has the same zoom air cushioning with a durable outsole, and all the other iconic look of the Air Jordan 1 High. This was a highly sought out release in the States and has some high resale. I'm pretty sure a lot of people will go for these worldwide, so make sure to enter as much raffles as you can to secure the W. Also on the 16th, rumors of the Nike Air Jordan 1 Low Travis Scott is re-releasing for Tier 0 stores. This shoe already shock dropped in July, retailing for 150 US dollars. Considering the resale it's going for right now, if the rumors are true that these are dropping again at boutiques, these will definitely be another difficult cop and 100% be raffles unless the stores want chaos happening outside their doors. Anyways, this Travis Scott and Jordan collab is the fourth silhouette to receive a makeover featuring a low top sneaker with leather and suede uppers. The iconic swoosh is backwards, donning a color blocking just like their Jordan 1 High collab. The Cactus Jack branding is also on the media profile, with more brandings embroidered at the heel for that exceptional look. These were hyped, and they still are, so if the rumor checks out that the 16 is the next re-release day, then keep an eye out for all the boutiques for their raffles. On the 17th, the Jordan brand is releasing the Air Jordan 1 Woman Satin Black Toe for 160 US at retail. This iconic colorway is Michael Jordan's first sneaker colorway, so regardless, even if it's an exclusive woman sizing, everyone will try to get a pair. Something special about this release is that although everything remains the same, as in the shape and leather base upper, the red color blocking is instead made out of a shiny textured fabric at the heel and collar. The Wings logo is also a metal badge and the sock liner is apparently made out of a silky fabric for a better hug around her feet. Other than that, it's an iconic colorway to an iconic silhouette, so it will be a really tough cop regardless of how many retailers are dropping them because these will sell out everywhere at the end of the day. On the same day the 17th, Adidas is restocking the Adidas Yeezy Boost 700 in the OG Wave Runner colorway for $300 US at retail. This shoe is re-releasing for its third time now I believe, and it's still the best colorway out of every Yeezy Boost 700 released so far in my opinion. The only difference in this release is that it's family sizing, so even your kids and infants could wear them now. It sports the popular chunky dad shoe aesthetic that took the storm in 2018, featuring comfy boost cushioning with a roomy footbed for comfortable daily usage. 
Although the pricing in my opinion is really high, this colorway is definitely the one to have if you're a fan of the 700 silhouette. Anyways, that concludes this week of W Overview. Make sure to click on the prompt on the top right corner of this video to vote Copper Drop on a shoe. Also, which headline sneaker is your favorite this coming week? Let me know down below in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next W Overview.